Welcome everyone, my name is David and as many of you know, I study psychology in Salzburg and drawing in YouTube is only my creative outlet and hobby. Now I've always wanted to try and combine those two interests into one project and this idea is what gave birth to the following video. The sketch you see unfolding now is a visualization of how I picture depression. I tried to work in as many of the ICD-10 diagnostic criteria as I could. The ICD-10 is the international classification of diseases and it is used as a guideline for diagnosis in psychotherapy along with the DSM-5 which is just another diagnostic system. By the way, at the moment I'm just starting out with building up the sketch with the help of a ton of construction lines to get the perspective at least somewhat right. I'll work with a two-point perspective with one of the points actually lying outside of the sketch. So back to the topic at hand. Uh, depression is one of the biggest mental disorders with 12-16% to of men and 20-26% to of women suffering from this disorder during their lifetime. It also has a very high comorbidity rate of 75-90%. to Comorbidity means how often depression comes in addition to another disorder. Please note that this video is only intended for informational and entertainment purposes and cannot be used for diagnosis or treatment. The information presented is gathered to the best of my knowledge. If you feel like you need help concerning your mental health, please talk to a li licensed therapist or a mental health professional in your area. Also, if you're easily triggered by this topic, this video is probably not for you. The ICD-10 parts the diagnostic criteria into main and additional symptoms. The severity of the depression depends on the number of symptoms that occur. Please note that these are only diagnostic guidelines and that every depression can feel slightly different depending on the person. The symptoms gathered in the ICD-10 are the most common ones that help to differentiate depression from other disorders. I will go through the symptoms in the order I ink them, which is loosely oriented at the order they are mentioned in the ICD-10. I'll be starting out with the main symptoms and move on to the additional ones. As you can see, I've built a scene in a room with a person just sitting on the window. As I mentioned, I will dive into the details over the course of the video explaining more around them. The first of the three main symptoms is a sad or depressed mood over most of the time. According to the DSM-5, this depressed mood is necessary for the diagnosis of depression and it has to occur over the course of two weeks almost every day. This one was quite hard to capture but I tried by placing the character seated in the window with his head down and a frown on his face. In this one I pack the second and the third main symptom because they are quite similar. The second is a loss of interest or joylessness, the third is a lowered energy and faster tiredness. I try to depict this with a broken guitar, the broken PC and the cobwebs all around, meaning the character doesn't even have the energy to embrace his hobbies or cares about cleaning or fixing the broken things lying around. Now the following are all additional symptoms. The idea of how to depict the loss of self-worth and self-confidence came to me pretty fast. Since those are like a fire that drive one forward in everyday life, I chose to depict it as a little dying flame inside the character's body. I also decided to use color to make it even clearer and to not end up with a mess of lime in his belly. Alright, here we are just filling in some shadows and some details to make the piece more interesting and add a little bit of contrast.
the next symptom was a little harder to depict. With depression often come changes or difficulties with sleep. It can be insomnia, which is difficulties to sleep, or hypersomnia, which is excessive sleeping. You can see I went with insomnia in my little acting skit. The character's insomnia is depicted through the dark night outside his window and the moon shining in. Again, I opted out for color simply because it's easier to show the moon's glow that way. Here you can see another problematic symptom. A person suffering from depression has difficulties concentrating and even difficulties thinking according to ICD-10. I had literally no idea how to draw that one, so I chose to only present it with my talented acting. The black monster that creeps up from behind the character are his feelings of guilt and blame that are in most cases inadequate, but nonetheless play a huge role in the suffering that accompanies depression. I had no idea how to draw the psychomotoric unease that people with depression sometimes have, so you just have to enjoy my wonderfully incredible acting one other symptom is sometimes hard to differentiate from a comorbid eating disorder because depression can lead to changes in appetite and in the result to a significant change of weight. I try to make the character quite thin to communicate this problem. The last symptom we have is probably one that's most often associated with depression. Some people suffering from depression either have concrete thoughts about death and killing themselves or have already taken the first steps. I tried to capture this with a little razor blade near the window. Now before presenting the finished piece a quick reminder that this was a list of possible symptoms used for diagnostics. Not everyone suffering from depression has every one of these symptoms and each case has to be looked at individually. So without further ado let's have a look at the final piece. say this piece and the video were quite the challenge. Depression is quite an abstract topic and really hard to capture. Plus my intention to use the ICD-10 criteria as guidelines bound me to a real concrete approach to the sketch. I'm still happy with the result even though some of the symptoms are excluded. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you want to see more depictions of mental disorders, leave a like or let me know below. And thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video. Peace out.